Hi and welcome to Kain Tayo Restaurant. Kain Tayo is a Filipino language which is literally translated as Let's Eat. It is a family dining restaurant that will feature Filipino dishes. Customers will experience a new, authentic, savory, and budget-friendly Filipino cuisine. The recipes will be based from the province of Pampanga, the culinary capital of the Philippines. It is located at 94866 Maloalu Street, Waipahu, Hawaii, 96797. The restaurant is in close proximity to Waipahu Transit Center, which is 0.2 miles or 3-minute walk, and the Filipino Community Center, which is 0.3 miles or 6-minute walk. It will soon be adjacent to one of the rail stations, and it also has a wide shared parking space. Our primary target market is mostly Filipino families around Waipahu, nearby towns, and the island of Oahu. Our secondary targets are locals and other ethnicities on the island that wants to experience a new taste of Filipino cuisine. Tourists or visitors from neighboring islands and from the mainland USA that seek for authentic Filipino food. And tourists or visitors from other countries that might have a craving on Filipino dishes. We based the food in our menu from the top 50 most popular Filipino dishes by tasteatlas.com. Here is a copy of our food menu. We have a variety of choices for appetizers. Our entrees are divided according to the type of meat like chicken, beef, pork, or seafood. We also have vegetarian choices for entrees. We also have varieties of desserts. We based the beverage menu from Let's Travel More, Facts and Details, and Trip Savvy. We based our beverage cost percentage for BCP on Meritage Technologies, Rules of Thumb for Beverage Cost, How's Your Restaurant Doing? For alcoholic beverages, liquor is 20%, bar consumables is 5%, bottled beer is 28%, Craft beer is 18% and wine is 45%. For non-alcoholic beverages, soft drinks post-mix is 10%, regular coffee is 15%, and tea is 5%. Here is a copy of our beverage menu. We have a variety of alcoholic drinks starting from red, white, sparkling, and sweet wines. We also offer a variety of beers, liquors, and house specials. We have non-alcoholic drinks such as sodas, sparkling water, juices, coffee, and tea. Why do we choose mostly Riesling and sparkling wine for appetizers? Riesling is a tart, acidic, low alcohol, light body white wine with flavors of citrus and grassy. Light body means it doesn't linger on your tongue for a long time. These qualities make it a good wine to start a meal by either complementing or cleansing the flavors of the appetizer off your tongue. It prepares you for the next course. Why did we use Chardonnay and sparkling wine for chicken? Wine guides for beginners tell you to. These guides say white wine for white meat, red wine for red meat. What you are comparing are the flavors and body of the wine to the meat or dish. If the chicken is in a buttery or cream sauce, Chardonnay would work due to its buttery mouthfeel and smell. The acid, citrus, and oak qualities help to cut the fatty taste from the chicken or seafood. Why did we use different types of wines for pork dishes? Pork is a very versatile protein. Different parts have different qualities like taste, mouthfeel, savouriness, or mummy. Pork blends itself well to sweet and sour sauces. Pork does well grilled, fried, roasted, barbecued, or steamed. A lot of it depends on the flavor profile or food culture that has made the dish. Also, look at the marinades, sauces, and spices that was made with the pork. 
Why did we use mostly Cabernet Sauvignon for beef dishes? Cabernet Sauvignon is a high alcohol, medium to heavy body tannic red wine. The tannins cut through the fat. The alcohol helps to break down the fat and proteins from the red meat. The taste of the dark berries, stone fruit or plums, and the little wet stone pairs with the beef. Why did we use mostly Riesling and Sauvignon Blanc for seafood dishes? High acid, low alcohol, light bodied wine works well with the light fish protein. The acid and citrus grass taste of the wine pairs with the flavors of the dish. Why did we use mostly Riesling for vegetables? Riesling has light body, acid citrus, lychee taste, and low alcohol. It won't clash in body or taste with the vegetable. You could also use some of the Riesling in the sauce for the vegetables. Good stuff! Why did we use mostly Sauterne and Toke for desserts? Sauterne and Toke are sweet wines. They also have tropic fruit taste like pineapple, lychee, mango, banana, peaches, etc. The nice quality about these wines is that they aren't syrupy. The sweetness is not overpowering and will not clash with the sweetness of the dessert. Overall, you need to look at the flavors and qualities of the dish. What smells and tastes dominant? How does it feel in your mouth? Is it spicy, sour, sweet, sugary, creamy? Look at the ingredients and think about how they interact. Then look at a wine that shares those qualities or neutralizes those qualities. Wine will definitely enhance the food and dining experience. Learning about wine is like going to a new world.